Now, we're all well acquainted with the heroics of Malala Yousafzai, the young Pakistani girl who survived a terrorist attack for raising her voice for reform to women's right to education. The Nobel Peace Prize winner has long been a symbol of bravery and a voice for women's rights across the world. But from the neighboring country of Afghanistan, we bring you a similar story of inspiration. Breshna Musazai, who survived a terror attack on her college in 2016 when the Taliban shot her in the leg, leaving her to die on campus. She herself joins us today on Weon to share her story. Thank you so much, Breshna, for joining us here on Weon. First of all, congratulations for uh, receiving your bachelor's degree in law. I'm sure your parents and family must be very, very proud of you. But uh, two years ago, the story was entirely different. Tell us a little bit about uh, what brought you to this point, your journey. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, when I started uh, studying at the American University uh, almost uh, six years ago, uh, I like for me it was not uh, very easy because one of the problems was my uh, fa uh, the my father had to pay. Uh, money for my university and it's um, the fees is because it's very expensive and uh, he had to like uh, he had to manage somehow to pay for my uh, uh, education and and another problem though that uh, another problem was my health problem because I'm having a uh, polio on my right leg, so it was very difficult for me to go to university every day, and uh, and I used to get tired. Yeah, and also you know being in Afghanistan and going to a university, it's not easy for girls because of also because of security problem, and there are many other problems. Yeah. Right, of course. And, and if you could also, for our viewers' benefit, uh, Breshna, take us through some of the obstacles you've had to face in the past in trying to pursue an education. So, yeah, I remember when I was a child, uh, those days when I used to go to school by foot, I used to fall on the way, like, not once or twice, like three or four times, and then get up again and walk again. And this used uh, this used to happen to me like every day, and also inside in in the school, I, uh, the students used to bully me, and so that time, uh, I thought I'm not like others. I thought I cannot do anything in life. I remember when I uh, uh, I. I was very interested in uh, participating in sports, but I could not participate because of my disability. And it was one of my big wish when I was a child to participate in sports, like in a uh, race or other kind of sports. So yeah, as when I was a child, I was like very hopeless. Uh, but today I'm not because I'm educated and I believe in myself. Well, that's wonderful to hear. You've, uh, like you pointed out, you've lived with pain in your right leg, right leg uh, every day, but still you went to a college which had no elevators. How exactly did you overcome these kinds of challenges uh, while trying to get an education? Uh, yeah, that's true. We, we, we don't have like, elevators and I, I used to get tired and but still, like going from one classroom to another classroom or going upstairs and downstairs, it was very difficult for me. Uh, and, uh, okay, I'm kind of, okay. That's fine, so, take your time. Yeah, and uh, those days uh, I used to live uh, in an apartment which was on sixth floor and it that building did not have elevator so i like like uh, i i i used to like those were like almost 100 stairs i remember nine 
99 stairs. I, I counted those stairs. So for me, uh, yes, it was like I then got a headache problem mm -hmm. because I used to get very tired and I still have this headache problem. So yeah, health problem was the main problem for me. Going to. I'm sorry, like I, I, uh, I cannot focus because of the background uh, noises. And that's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, and I'm sure it's it's an emotional story also for you to recall. Um, can I ask you, uh, this is a tough one. Why did the, the Taliban assailants decide to attack your college and how did you manage to escape? Um, I think they attacked because they are the enemies of Afghanistan. They are the enemies of education. They don't care about the interests of uh, the national interests of the country. So, yeah, that's why they. I see them as the enemies of my country. And that night I survived because I pretended dead after being after I was shot in the leg. And and I was. For six hours, I was waiting for help. Uh, and at the same time, I was bleeding and I was in pain. I think I survived because I pretended dead. And it, pretending, pretending dead was not an easy thing for, for me to do. Uh, during those six hours, once I thought to... Uh, to surrender myself to the to those insurgents because I could not to, uh, I could not bear the pain in my body and but then again I thought it's to wait more and I was hopeful that somebody would come for help so after six hours I was uh, the police took me out of that place well that sounds absolutely uh, harrowing uh, Brechna but you you've become an inspiration for so many people now uh, through that very same story, what is the message you'd like to give to the world? I have a message for disabled people, uh, people who do not believe in their abilities, like I used to be once in my life as a child, that they, they should believe in their abilities and because nobody is perfect, and so they should believe in their in their abilities and they should like if they want to pursue their dream they should use education as the main tool to pursue their uh, their dreams mm -hmm. and also they should believe in their abilities and <clears throat> another message uh, is that they, that these insurgents of this Afghanistan, I believe that they can, they can kill us, but they cannot stop us, because they they kill people every day in Afghanistan, but still people, uh, people still go to work, people still leave their homes to go to a uh, school. Right. So yeah, this is my on thought okay and and do you have anything special you'd like to say about the right to education for women in particular i believe that education is uh, is a right is a natural right like a uh, right to freedom right to life and this is it's not a right which is given to us by the laws or constitution it's a right we are born with, so we must fight for this right. Well, more power to you, Breshna Musazai. Thank you so much for speaking with us uh, this evening. Your story is definitely inspirational. Mm -hmm.